So now you watched uh, part one and we are on part two now. This video I'm changing the rocker shafts. It was slightly worn so I decided to do it. If you want to know how to get to the point where I start this video you have to watch uh, part one which you will find over here uh, from this card. Enjoy, loads of information, use the timestamps to jump up and down in the video to get to the point where you want to be and uh, yeah I will see you guys in part three. Right, because we removed the camshaft, camshaft, which you don't have to, we don't need to back off the clearance adjusters because these rockers just wobble, wobbling about anyway. So no worries there, we're gonna have to take these two, two bolts out, 17 mil. They're not, they're not super tight, well they shouldn't be. Oil line got enough uh, play, so I can just push it out the way, so I can get the shaft out. Eight mil hole in there, threaded. Okay, and we're gonna have to put a sliding hammer in there and just pull it out. You might. Uh, it, it depends how tight it is in there. You might be able to get it out with just. Uh, an 8 mil threaded bar and you put a plier on it and hit it with a hammer backwards, uh, it might come out, might not, I don't, I'm not too sure uh, but I, I have a slide hammer so it's, it should be fairly easy so that's the sliding hammer we're gonna use this just came with a, a bearing puller kit I bought, uh, it's nothing fancy, it's just a Chinese one and uh, this is the adapter screw which you screw in there the other end screws into this one and then you just slide it out. Try to screw in as much as you can to avoid uh, stripping the thread. I'm actually all the way in and then we're gonna strip, uh, turn this on. Okay and just gently you slide in this back and pull it out. This one comes out fairly easy because this one I think was a bit worn and pay attention to the rocker uh, so it doesn't drop in there. You can fish it out from the other side but it's easier just to keep hold of it. That's it. So that was, that was a little bit worn. Okay. I'm just gonna leave the rocker there. That was a little bit worn, that's why I think it came out so easy. So it was uh, slightly worn, probably not the end of the world, but for the sake of to 12 pound each, I think 12 pound each, uh, it's worth changing. So we put the fresh coat oil on it, grab the, the rocker, because you're gonna have to realign it. Try not to drop it, it's so easy and then you have to fish it out so realign that and just use any any bolt really which is an 8 mil and then gently push it in it's got a tapered tapered end uh, these uh, shafts are so it it finds its way to the to the rocker but don't force anything but now we reached a point where we need to actually hit it uh, with a hammer, tap it very very gently and keep moving the rocker, sh rocker up and down keep uh, twisting the rocker to make sure it's not jamming anything but as you can see it's nice and easy it's going in and the, the rocker moves up and down lovely I'm gonna try to push it by hand as far as I, I can. Rock, the rocker still moves uh, freely so when you let go it just 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 rolls back it where it should be but now I think it's on the back so it needs another few taps keep checking the rocker 
make sure it's uh, moving up and down completely freely. If you have any any jam up, just put this uh, uh, slide hammer back on it and just pull it back out. But you, you should always go tiny, tiny knocks, very small. As you can see, I'm, I'm barely, barely hitting it. Okay, when you reach the other end of the cylinder head casting, it goes a little bit stiffer, so it doesn't slide <clears throat> as easy. But just keep going until when you hit it with the hammer, it's it's not it's not that dull. The sound it makes it's not that dull as as when you when you hit it and it slides. It becomes like the the whole engine starts taking over that vibration, that sound, and you will hear it. it it's it's bottomed out, and that's that's where you want to be. Ah, uh, yeah. So it started making that noise. Just try to listen. The whole uh, sound of hitting this bolt changed into uh, the whole engine takes over the whole vibration. It, it will change the sound. Make sure you check the rocker. It, it's got to be absolutely uh, free, free movement there. Okay, and just. That's definitely on the bottom, and then you just take this bolt out. The reason I recommend to use a bolt or any bolt and not just, just put the uh, the rocker shaft in, because if you put it the wrong way in, you're never going to get it out. It's like, that's it. You, it's, it's bollocks. You, that stays in forever. They could have tapped it probably both ends, but pff, I don't know. They could have done that. Right, and the next step is we are going to use a syringe like this one and we're going to pump some oil down in that hole to make sure we lubricate the the rocker on the shaft and we're going to put it in there like I don't know 5-10 mil because it's going to uh, <laughs> squirt out everywhere make sure you put a rag there and just give it like I don't know, 10-15 uh, mil. Okay, so we, I'm gonna grab the bolt which goes back in there. Try to try to swap the washers every time you you do such a thing. Okay, line it up. So the torque spec for the rocker shaft holding bolts are 38 newton meters double checking that's it now moving to the next is basically the same principle like the other one you put this in the rocker there okay same like before we're gonna put some oil in oil in here and we're gonna put some oil on the outside and then once we're done we're gonna uh, squirt squirt some down anyway so yeah make sure it's covered with oil okay let's try again That's it. It's not easy, but you, you, what you gotta make sure once you over that point over the rocker, this gotta be like that. Got to move up and down like that. So now I'm gonna take this out and just use the hammer because it's a little bit, a little bit more convenient.
and very gently just keep knocking it while you're checking that and you will hear now I change the sound it's still going because it's reached the other end the rocker is still loose and just keep going keep going it's still moving and now you change the complete sound went to the engine uh, the whole engine started taking over take the bolt out make sure your rocker is moving that freely flying back okay, let go goes back down then we're gonna squirt some oil down <clears throat> you should see some spraying out on the bottom but over here you might see it might not I will try to show you see seeing it it just come out that's the hole on the rocker uh, for the oil to come out <clears throat> I'm gonna put the ball back in quickly ball back in the new washer you gotta put a new washer on but I didn't I didn't film it I mean, come on it's like everybody can put a new washer on on a bolt so I didn't didn't bore you with that one already set that's it you might not necessarily need to remove the camshaft but it's just uh, well it's easier this is not something you would do uh, every day but I needed doing so I thought why not make a tutorial about it maybe it will help out uh, in the future someone who needs to do it so there you have it I hope you find it useful if you did please uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, more tutorials coming up and I have big plans for the winters which I will announce later on and also I might do some giveaway so Stay tuned, uh, stay with me in the channel and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next uh, tutorial, vlog or flying a drone around somewhere. So thank you and take care.